Where are all my North Dakotans tonight? I'm, I'm joking. I know nobody in this. There's like a 0% chance anyone in this room is from North Dakota. It's actually, oh, you spent a summer there. It's nice in the summer. It's actually the 50th most visited state in the Union, if you can believe that. <laughs> anyway, my, my dad and my mom both grew up in, in North Dakota, and my dad grew up in uh, the, sort of the middle of North Dakota. And uh, he uh, grew up on a dairy farm in the 50s. Uh, and uh, I heard this story many times. It's a story about his dad and him and a little uh, John Deere tractor that they had. And it's a song called The John Deere H. I close my eyes in a wide blue sky is spreading out before me. And I'm hearing that old engine crank again in all its glory. It's a faded memory that I go back to now and then. I give my right arm to be on that farm with the John Deere H again. The John Deere H was a row crop tractor. Ours was a 43. And I was still too young to drive, but I knew she was made for me. It'd be like heaven to start her up until that stubborn ground. But I'd climb up on the metal seat and make up my own tractor sounds like this. <laughs> the H was made in a factory down in Waterloo. But my dad had got her second hand from some folks that we knew. She wasn't sleek and she wasn't fast, took a while to get her going. But she beat a horse in a handheld plow for cutting hay and hoeing. And then to my surprise, he said one night, boy, it's time you got to learn it. And he showed me how to check the spark and set that flywheel turning. I was only eight years old, I had to stand to reach the pedals. But I'm so proud you'd have thought that I just won some kind of medal. Well, that old machine was a farm kid's dream, none like her before or after. But we let her go in hopes of knowing so called greener pastures. Though I the envy of most men I give my right hand for that piece of land in the John Deere H again I give my right arm to be on that farm with the John Deere H again 